Hi guys, in this video we're going to just focus on a specific linear function of x1. Okay, so we have 10 observations of this variable x1. And what we're going to do is create a, a new variable, let's call it y. y equals 2 times x1. And I want to use actual data here because your textbook has plenty of um, theory and uh, theorems but very little ability to actually show you those theories in action. Perhaps this will give you slightly different perspective on it and help you understand those better. So what I want to do is I want to learn about the mean and the variance of y. So the expected value and the variance of y. Now if you notice y is just a linear function of x1 and specifically it's a quite simple one it's just two times x1 so there's just this slope of two and an inter intercept of zero so it's very simple to deal with so we know that the mean of y should be twice as large as the mean of x from what we learned on linear functions and we know that the variance of y should be equal to the variable part of the linear function which is 2 squared so sorry let's start this by being very clear the variance of y should equal 2 times 2 squared times the variance of x1 in this case we've calculated at least the sample variance of x1 is 31.6 and the variable part of our linear function is 2 so that's squared so we end up with 4 times 31.6 and if we use Excel to calculate that we get 126.4 for the variance of y which is 2 times x1 right now let's look to see if that actually pans out if we um, calculate the variance of 2 times x1 so we also saw that this was 2 times the mean of x correct of x1 which is 2 times 13.5 So 27. And as if you're peeking over here, you see that we actually are getting these numbers. All right, but let me show you that these calculations were done in a different way than the ones we did over here. Two times the mean. So we have the mean of y and the variance of y. Hopefully this notation is clear. Mean of y, variance of y. Calculated how our text has taught us to calculate it, right? And y, by the way, equals 2 times x1 plus 0, right? It's a linear function, a very simple linear function of x1. Now, how did I calculate these? Well, I use Excel functions, okay? So I averaged the two times x ones all of them and I get 27 which is exactly what I thought I would get so no surprise and actually kind of a relief even more interesting is I calculate the variance the sample variance of these all the two times x ones right I just multiplied column one by two here all right so I get 126.44 and voila, that's exactly what I expected to get from what I learned in my text, from what I learned about linear functions of random variables. Okay, so I hope this was a little, give you at least a little different perspective or at least confirmed some of the things you're seeing in the text. All right, and I feel like it always feels better when you do it with actual numbers and you see it in action and this helps you build up some kind of intuition um, regardless hope it was helpful subscribe
favorite share check out my other tutorial videos until next time have a great day